Summary of the Devil in the White City by Eric Larson Daniel Hudson Burnham thinks about the years he spent planning the Chicago World's Fair of 1893, which was held to celebrate the 400th anniversary of Columbus's finding of America. He is on the Olympic on April 12, 1912, the same night that the Titanic sinks. In 1890, Chicago is a growing city that wants to show the more established towns in the East that it can compete. Chicago gets the bid to host the World's Fair because of how proud the city is of itself. Soon after that, Daniel Burnham and John Root, two of the best architects in the city, are given artistic power over the buildings at the fair. Burnham and Root are putting together a team of architects at the same time that a young, beautiful doctor with blue eyes named H. H. Holmes comes to Chicago. Holmes, whose real name is Herman Mudgett, is very appealing to women, in part because he doesn't follow the usual rules for dating. He is already married to a woman named Clara, but he quickly leaves her. In Chicago, he likes the smell of the city's main industry, which are the slaughterhouses. He quickly buys a drugstore that becomes famous because he gets a lot of female customers. Holmes marries Murda while he is still married to Clara, but he starts to ignore her right away. He uses fake documents and lies to buy a house nearby, which he turns into a grim hotel. Even though the building has rooms and tools that look like they were made for murder, Holmes doesn't get much attention because he fires people often and people in Chicago can't think that a serial killer could live there. From the people he hires, like Benjamin Pitezel and Charles Chapel, he builds a group of helpers. He fakes the signature of Jonathan, Myrtle's rich great-uncle, and asks him to stay at his new hotel. Jonathan thinks that Holmes tried to kill him in the middle of the night but couldn't. Burnham and Root work hard to put together a team of famous builders from all over the country. This team includes Charles McKim, Frederick Olmsted, and Louis Sullivan, and they start making plans for the fair. The group decides to hold the expo in Jackson Park, which looks out over Lake Michigan. Root dies quickly, and even though Burnham is sad about his friend's death, he decides to keep working on the fair. Burnham tells the architects to work together so that no one building is better than the others. The architects show off their buildings for the fair. Sullivan is angry about the World's Fair's neoclassical style, but the other builders agree with him. Olmsted, who created New York's Central Park, goes to New York and Europe to look for flowers and unusual boats to decorate Jackson Park. He often gets into fights with Burnham. Burnham is very worried about having to build a whole city in only two years. He is in charge of building the world's fair buildings and has to negotiate with unions and his highly bureaucratic board of directors. Carter Henry Harrison, who was a well-liked mayor of Chicago, lost his bid for a fifth term in 1897. This upsets Patrick Prendergast, a young man with mental illness who thought Harrison would have given him a job in the government in exchange for his help with his campaign. Harrison gets re-elected for a fifth time in 1893, and Prendergast goes around Chicago saying that he will be named the corporation attorney. Holmes's World's Fair Hotel, which is near Jackson Park, draws people from all over the country while the World's Fair is being built. Ned and Julia Connor, as well as Julia's sister Gertrude, are among these guests. Holmes seduces Gertrude and tricks Ned into buying his failed drugstore. Both of them are disgusted and disappointed when they leave the hotel. Next, Holmes wins over Julia, gets her pregnant, and kills her in his basement. Holmes also kills Emmeline Sigrand, who is beautiful and likes him. Even though Holmes kills her in his hotel, the other guests don't pay him much attention. He meets Minnie R. Williams, the owner to a lot of land, while he is traveling in Boston. Holmes seduces Minnie, brings her back to Chicago, and kills her and her sister, Anna. Burnham tells America's builders and engineers to build something as tall as the Eiffel Tower in Paris. He then gives a fair concession to George Ferris, who made the Ferris wheel. Building the wheel is taking a long time, and in the meantime, rain and snow are hurting other buildings. Francis Millet, a friend of Burnham's, suggests painting the buildings white. This gives them a unique look that gives the World's Fair the nickname The White City. In addition to the Ferris wheel, the World's Fair will have exhibits like movies, exotic dancers, 
and light bulbs that will shock, amuse, and amaze guests. When Buffalo Bill brings his Wild West show to the area, people leave the fair to see it. Burnham has a disagreement with the board of directors, which wants to keep track of all the fair's spending because of the economic downturn of 1893. When the fair opens in 1893, it loses money at first. However, after the Ferris wheel is finished and Francis Millet and Sol Bloom plan fun dances and exhibits for the midway, the fair slowly starts to make money. Patrick Prendergast shoots and kills Mayor Harrison just before the end of the World's Fair because he's mad that Harrison didn't make him company counsel. The end of the World's Fair is overshadowed by this tragedy. At the end of the World's Fair, Holmes sets fire to his hotel so he can get a big insurance payout. Investigators from his insurance company aren't sure, and his debtors are trying to get him to leave town. Holmes kills Benjamin Pytiesel, and when another insurance company looks into Pytiesel's death, Holmes is caught. Detective Frank Geyer follows Holmes's trail through Indianapolis and Toronto and finds proof that he killed three of Pytiesel's children. Holmes is put to death, even though he says he didn't do these things and writes a book in which he tries to make himself seem likable. At the end of his life, he says that he is changing into the devil, and several people who were involved with his execution die in strange ways. Burnham becomes the most famous architect of his time, and the World's Fair has countless effects on American science and society. Burnham is sitting on the Olympic when he hears that Francis Millet, who was on the Titanic on April 12, has died. Soon after, Burnham also dies. He is buried in Chicago near Root, his wife, Sullivan, and Mayor Harrison. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.